Oh no! What did I miss in the last video? That next on geocaching with SimRebel. Alright, um, addendum to last week's video about uh, importing labs into GSAC. I was uh, told of a new macro that I didn't know about, and it's a little different from uh, importing the lab caches into GSAC. So, um, the, uh, the macro is called Import Adventure Labs, and it gives you a lot more choices here. As soon as it loads. So this one, he knows who I am, so I can pick out labs that I've already done here. I can use a browser to uh, go through my found venture cabs. I can type in a lab ID. I can give it a coordinates address, which I just type that one in or paste it in. I can go by a current cache, copy from the map, and then uh, I can give it a radius. So I'm going to give it a 25 mile radius from there. I could also search for my home or a cottage save locations and a download adventure lab descriptions if not downloaded in the last four months um, must be logged into browser for settings skip found stages so it won't shouldn't load in any caches that or labs that I've found and skip my labs so it shouldn't do my labs. We have a lab prefix of LB, we can put that to AV or whatever you want. Prepare lab name to prepend the lab name to stage name. Uh, so that puts in the uh, name of the the actual stage in the name. And Add stage question to description, user note field or hint, update country, state, country, and elevation. So when it puts it in, it puts all that information in. Check user flag on imported lab stage. Add posted coordinates to adventure labs as child waypoints. We don't want to do that. Import caches whose GC codes are in the description. So this will look for any geocache listed in the descriptions of the lab cache and import them as well. So it's good for getting those bonus caches in there. And what size container? We can uh, choose whatever we want and usually virtual. So we'll go ahead and import. So the coordinates I put in is for middle of London. And it's loading the database. So it's, it's got to go through a lot of information here. get all these uh, cache locations. And you can see it going through all the caches now and adding the stages. So again, uh, GSAC is just a database of uh, geocaches or lab caches or I even have my trackables all in here any trackables I've discovered so I can keep track of them it's a just a great way to keep a track of everything and the power is in the search you can search on pretty much any field that is in the cache so if you want to look for a certain D or a different train or 
name or who placed it, date plus, type of cache, type of container, um, anything. Okay, so process, 80 stages loaded, 16 Adventure Labs, 70 waypoints added, Adventure Lab descriptions downloaded zero, associated geocache is downloaded one. So there's all our labs for uh, London, plus the bonus for the Railway City Elevated Park Lab cache. And I'll just uh, map these using the uh, macro leaflet map. Just want to encrypt on here and oops, no. hide clusters. So here we uh, go with all the labs in the London area. Also did. St. Thomas and Dorchester and some in Strathroy. So it reached out beyond London to the closest labs to the center to do the uh, 25 mile radius. So I can take uh, that, export it to a GPX file, and load it into my phone in CTO or any pretty much any app or GPS that uh, accepts GPX files. So that's uh, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, the other thing I was going to mention is the uh, macro database. So th these are all macros, which are sub little programs that run in GSAC to do things. So uh, all these FSG is uh, fine stats for different uh, sections of uh, stats you can create. Um, before Project GC pro challenge checkers, this is pretty much the way he would check uh, easily to see if uh, you qualified for a, a um, certain uh, challenge cast. And so, so uh, things that uh, make uh, GSAC a little easier to use. Uh, somebody's come up with a program. You can do anything in a macro by hand, but it just combines all those commands into a nice little uh, program to run. So, we'll uh, do a uh, more on GSAC in uh, another episode. So, till next time, catch you later, catch you on the trails.